Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about transformers. So friends, let's get started. So friends, a transformer is a static device which transfers electrical power from one circuit to another circuit at a constant frequency and through the process of electromagnetic induction. And these transformers are mainly used to increase or decrease voltage levels. Now let's see why a transformer is called a static device. The transformer have no moving part and the complete process of the transformer can be done without any rotating part. So this is the reason we call transformer as a static device. And friends, as current flows through the cable, it will emit magnetic field around it. And if we pass direct current through the cable, then the magnetic field will remain constant. But if we pass alternating current through the cable, then the magnetic field will increase and decrease its strength as the current changes its polarity. The working principle of a transformer is mutual inductance. Mutual inductance is a phenomena in which a change of current in one coil causes an induced EMF in another coil. And in simple words, when we place any coil near to the alternating current carrying coil, then the flux that induces in the primary coil links with the secondary coil. And because of this flux linkage, an EMF induces in the coil. And a single phase voltage transformer basically consists of two electrical coils of wire, one called the primary winding and another called the secondary winding. And these two coils are not electrically contact, but instead wrapped together around a closed magnetic iron circuit which is also called core. And the winding in which we supply input source to the transformer, that winding is called primary winding and to which the load is connected that winding is called secondary winding of the transformer. Now friends, a current carrying conductor produces magnetic field around it and the magnetic field produced by coil as shown in the figure. And with the help of the fluctuating nature of the alternating current, the magnetic field produced will also fluctuates. And this magnetic flux can be linked with secondary winding with the help of this core. And this fluctuating magnetic flux will induce an EMF in secondary coil due to electromagnetic induction. Since the same magnetic flux is passing through the primary and secondary coils, the EMF per turn for both primary and secondary coils will be same. A single phase transformer can either increase or decrease the voltage applied to primary winding. When a transformer is used to increase the voltage, then it is called step up transformer. And when it is used to decrease the voltage, then it is called step down transformer. However, a third condition exists. If a transformer produces same voltage on its secondary winding as it is applied on primary winding, such type of transformer is called impedance transformer. And it is necessary to know the ratio of number of turns of coils. For example, if the ratio of number of turns in the coils is 3 is to 1, this means if there is 3 volts on primary winding, then there will be 1 volt on secondary winding. Then we can say that if ratio of number of turns changes, then the resulting voltage must also change by the same ratio. For example, if number of turns in primary coil is 1500 and number of turns in secondary coil is 500. And now number of primary turns divided by number of secondary turns gives us 3 is to 1. It means if we apply 3 volts in primary coil, then it will give 1 volt in secondary coil. It means it is a step down transformer. So friends, this is all about construction and working of the transformer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.